12 Ways Princess Catherine Fortifies Royal Family Ties From ironing out the family's differences to being a dedicated mother, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is an invaluable asset to the House of Windsor. That said, in today's video, we are going to reveal the 12 ways in which she brings the British royal family closer together. Let's get started. Number 12. She Keeps the Peace According to royal correspondent Katie Nicholl, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, would usually be the one to smooth out the family's differences. However, she revealed that since his passing in April 2021, Princess Catherine has stepped into the role of the family's mediator. Her efforts were notably seen during Prince Philip's funeral, where she subtly facilitated a conversation between Prince William of Wales and Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, who were navigating a rift in their relationship at that time. Number 11. She Cooks For and With Her Family As the future queen of the United Kingdom, the kitchen is the last place we'd imagine Princess Catherine of Wales in. But it turns out, not only does she love experimenting in the kitchen, she's quite the culinary genius. Speaking to the Daily Mail during his visit to a charity in 2023, Prince William of Wales complimented her culinary skills. He disclosed that while he doesn't cook much, Princess Catherine's very good at it. Apart from cooking, the Princess of Wales also has a penchant for baking. Back in 2020, Prince William told a local bakery that she and their three kids had transformed their kitchen into a bakery amidst the quarantine. Number 10. She doesn't hold grudges. While the world expected Princess Catherine to distance herself from the Sussexes after the troubling developments since March of 2021, sources told Us Weekly that the princess doesn't bear any grudges against them. In fact, after Princess Lilibet's birth in 2021, she sent gifts as well as notes out to Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. What's more, during her royal engagement with First Lady Jill Biden, the princess sent out good wishes to the newborn princess and expressed how she was looking forward to meeting her. Number 9. She Treats the Royal Staff Well If you know anything about the House of Windsor, you know that the royal staff is invaluable to them. And according to royal expert Neil Sean, the Princess of Wales knows what it takes to retain this workforce. Sean claims that not only will she hear her staff out, she'll take their suggestions and thank them as well. These revelations are in contrast to the ones that surfaced about Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex's stay at the Kensington Palace after her wedding in 2018. The Duchess of Sussex allegedly would require the staff to be present at odd hours. However, experts believe that the unusually high staff turnover that year was simply because the couple was still trying to find their feet in the firm. Number 8. She Guides the Family Speaking of the Sussexes' wedding, did you know that Princess Catherine of Wales had a hand in helping Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, pop the question to Meghan? According to Katie Nichol, the Princess of Wales has always been a mentor to Prince Harry, so much so that he wanted to get her seal of approval before he proposed. Not just that. After Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relationship took a more serious turn, the Princess of Wales was kind enough to take the now Duchess of Sussex under her wing. 
from introducing Meghan to her favorite designers to opening the doors of her apartment at the royal palace to her, Princess Catherine of Wales happily instructed Meghan on things, despite having her hands full with maternal duties. Number 7. She Supports Her Husband While we're on the subject of advice, royalty or not, falling out with a sibling can be quite frustrating. Lucky for Prince William of Wales, even as his troubles with Prince Harry multiplied, Princess Catherine was by his side the entire time. As per a source that spoke to Us Weekly, Princess Catherine became Prince William's pillar of strength amidst the royal feud. Described by the source as someone who can remain calm in stressful situations, she was reported to have talked Prince William through the whole ordeal. Number 6. She Honors Her Predecessor's Parenting Practices Besides being a supportive partner, the Princess of Wales has proven to be a great granddaughter-in-law as well. The fact that she followed in Queen Elizabeth II's footsteps and breastfed all three of her children is a testimony to this. If you didn't know, before the late Queen Elizabeth II set the precedent for it, it wasn't common for royal mothers to breastfeed their children. Their goal was only to produce heirs to ensure the growth of the dynasty. However, Princess Catherine, like the late Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Diana before her, decided to break the mold of this rather restrictive practice. Number 5. She Brainstorms Shared Campaigns Even though the Windsors have been vocal about a range of different causes, they hadn't openly advocated for mental health up until Prince William, Prince Harry, and Princess Catherine launched the Heads Together campaign in 2016. It turns out that Princess Catherine came up with the idea for the campaign after she realized that all three of them were focused on mental health in their individual areas of focus. Number 4. She's a Master of Royal Protocol during her first royal engagement with Princess Anne, Prince William's aunt, in 2022, Princess Catherine ended up endearing herself to the British public. During their visit to the Royal College of Midwives, she allowed the senior to walk ahead of her. Now, while this might seem like a small gesture to people outside of the UK, it earned the Princess of Wales the royal subject's respect. Apparently, unless she's being accompanied by Prince William, it's customary for her to stay behind and let senior royals take the lead. Number 3. She's her family's biggest cheerleader. Even though the royal family is always in the news for one big milestone or another, Princess Catherine still believes in doing her part when it comes to celebrating their achievements or being their cheerleader. Take the time she cheered Prince William of Wales on at a charity polo event as an example. Say what you will, but we think were it not for her support, the prince wouldn't have won 3-2 that day. After the match, the two were also caught sharing a peck on the cheek in a rare display of public affection. Before any of you point this out, we know PDA is against royal protocol. However, if you were to look at it another way, it signals that a positive shift may be underway with the ascension of the new royals. It also helps to make the royal family more relatable to the public eye. Number 2. She strongly bonded with the older Windsors. Although Catherine had always had a good bond with Queen Elizabeth II, sources claimed that the two became even closer friends once the Waleses moved within walking distance of Buckingham Palace. Then, throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, she became the Queen's right hand. It was during this time that the senior royal supposedly imparted valuable lessons to her about her future as queen consort. As per the source, the two would spend hours discussing the monarchy and its future. 
They were also reported to meet up for tea as much as possible. The princess, meanwhile, also enjoyed a great relationship with her grandfather-in-law, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, as per an article published on the duo's body language at a Trooping the Color event in 2017, Princess Catherine of Wales seemed to share the Duke of Edinburgh's humor. Among other things, experts suggest that her time with these personalities has given the Princess of Wales the perspective she needs to understand her role in Prince William's life. They think she'll come to his aid like Prince Philip came to the late Queen Elizabeth II's aid. Number 1. She's the perfect parent When she first started dating Prince William of Wales, the British media couldn't get enough of labeling Princess Catherine as a commoner for growing up in the countryside. However, it seems that her ordinary upbringing has helped her become the best parent anyone could ever ask for. According to what a source revealed to People, Unlike most aristocratic parents, the Princess of Wales believes in spending quality time with her kids, be it taking them to the supermarket or staying up late to bake cakes for them. Prince William supposedly loves the normalcy that the Princess of Wales brings to their children's lives. Surprisingly, not many people in the royal family have enjoyed this privilege. As per biographer Ingrid Seward, Royal children usually grow up in nanny-dominated times. But it looks like Princess Catherine's time with the late Queen Elizabeth II paid off because she was given time away from royal duties to focus on her family. Thanks for tuning in. What are some important life lessons that we could all learn from the Princess of Wales? Share your takeaways in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content on the British royal family.